back to Let's Play Rome Total War Carthage Campaign episode number 29th and possibly the final episode of this campaign ish I will explain. As I made my ultimatum in the last episode, it is crunch time for this campaign now. We bollocked up the Battle of Lillibam because I'm going to blame my troops because you know, my, ta well, all right, my tactics were airtight, but let's face it, they were half decent. And also because I am just absolutely sick of this faction now. Like, I am I am sick to the back teeth of Carvage right now. And to be honest, this seed has been planted by a subscriber saying, Oh, you should do a Greek Cities campaign. I request a Greek Cities campaign. And to be honest, that seed's growing! I want to do the Greek Cities. I wish I did do the Greek Cities. It probably would have been a more fun campaign. But whatever, whatever. Let's... Let's stop dreaming of where the grass is greener and focus on the shit grass we have. I do want to try and win this campaign, or at least win a campaign as Carthage. Though, I think I have taken the wrong path to winning this campaign. I think I basically broke my legs on day one by attacking Masana. I should have sought peace with the Romans and conquered the Numidians and the Iberians first before dealing with Rome. But, well... Hindsight's 20 fucking 20 in it. So what we are going to do is, I this is the episode that decides whether or not I will continue with this campaign, or if next week you will be seeing the restart of the Carthaginian campaign. Something I know is not exactly really fun to be doing, or really I personally want to do, but... Look, other YouTubers do it. They've, I've seen them, like, bollock up their campaigns on games like this and, um... What do you call it? Civilization, that was the word I'm looking at. Look, I've seen people lose campaigns on Civilization but start them all over in the same series. So if they could do it, I can do it. Simple as that. Or I'm, I'm going to be a pioneer in safe scumming, but I'm not safe scumming a campaign. No, that's just wrong in total war. I iron mode stuff now. So, but, but there is an option to basically start over again. That's like the only thing. But every decision I make is final until I decide to restart the campaign out of frustration, which I'm going to do in a minute. Unless we win this battle against Lucon and his mystery troops. And the reason why it's vital we win this turn is because Captain Mikolas is already on his way to Corduba. I'm still out of money and Oscar is currently not under attack by Gauls, but I'm noticing they are more and more of them are passing through the area. Now, the reason why I'm also just so tempted to restart is because the AI has pissed me off so much in the last episode. Last episode as well, just for a quick refresher once more, I was offered the chance to become a protectorate of the Iberian tribes. Something I, that didn't really appeal to me, but to be honest, I didn't really have a lot of choice. And I'll just put it to you like this, I got betrayed instantly. Like, seriously, what the fuck, but... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Right. We do have a town to defend. We are going to defend it because the longer I hold out, the more attrition I'm going to suffer. So let's, let, let's just forego the attrition. Get, get Lucon dealt with, because you know what, if I kill him, I'm going to be happier in some sort of sense. Is he a faction leader, by the way? No, it's just a family member. Uh, but we do actually have a full readout of his troops. Three Iberians, two round shields, a skirmisher, another Iberian. No, that's an easy army. That's a beatable army. So maybe he's not quite end the campaign time yet. Could be, though, could be, but I think we might win this one, actually. However, if a financial situation doesn't improve, we are not going to... Well, I am going to have to restart, aren't I? I'm pretty much dead in the water at the minute, but, oh well, maybe I can recover myself a little bit with this battle. Let's fight it out on the battle map and see what we can do. But remember, in peace, sons bury their fathers. In wars, fathers bury their sons. In war here in Carthage, everyone gets buried or they run off, at least. On my orders! Right, so we pretty much only have one way out of the city right now, which is going to be right out of the front gate. And that is pretty much the way I'm going to be taking. I don't really have any other gates to use. And this city isn't really just designed like a big pair of jaws, or at least it is in some sense. I mean, here, the city does have some jaws, but the Spanish have deployed on this flank here, and this is where I'm going to be doing my battles. So, too far away for my skirmishes to do shit, so what we are going to do is, let's just get all the Iberians out first, and then... We're going to bring out the Balearics, bring out the Town Militia. Standard issue Sally Forth tactics I'm going to be using here. So 
Let's just get everything where it should be and get all my cavalry here. Then I've got my skirmishers, of which I only have one anyway. And I've got my Balearics, all my Balearics ready to be doing their business because, right. <coughs> The Iberians should go down easy enough if we if we hit them in the right area. The skirmishers should also go down. It's a, it's a cavalry which wants more remains of concerns. I don't have any spe specialized spear units in this army, apart from my own cavalry. But to us, that's just gonna be a battle of the wills, isn't it? But right, the enemy is pulling back a little bit, so we do have we do have some time to prepare. So, Balearic slingers, why don't we get you out of the town now? Ca Iberian infantry, let's get you out in the battlefield as well. I want to deploy it where the road curves, so I want I want our line to be formed here, and that is where it's going to be formed. So Slingers, I want you here. Slingers will not fire at will again. No, we're going to try and do it a bit, a little bit like we did in the last battle, where I will I will try and fire retreat. But I mean, the Iberians are more likely to fall for it if you get what I mean, because they're barbarians and they're more inclined to do a big frenzy charge forward into my troops. Cavalry, let's group you up. I'm going to have you on the flanks again, so just come here. I'm just going to group you up just for the minute, just for the neatness sake of my UI. Right, and then, yeah. Everyone should be able to get out of the city nice and neat, nice and orderly. And we should be able to arrange ourselves in a way that's going to hopefully kill the Spanish off. At least in this battle. It's annoying. Basically, fighting the Iberians is basically easy mode in this campaign. But fighting anyone else is like, oh, well, you're fucked mode. But if we can just get to a point where I can have a load of Poeni infantry as my mainline troop, then we'll probably do better, because, well, yeah, Poeni infantry, were like, they can hold their water. I mean, they, they literally very much fought to the last man in that Battle of Carthage, so they are really good troops. It's not going to be easy for my archers this time as well, just because we are fighting an uphill battle. I have triple speeding as well, just so we can get my men deployed and just watch my frame rate crunch down, because I guess fast forward to this game just really, really fucks everything up. Yeah, it really, wow. Frame rate really sinks when I when I speed a game up. Weird. Oh well, uh come on, come on, come on. All troops just getting out, getting out, getting out, getting out. Right, this goes to normal speed now before I get motion sickness from all the frame rate dropping. Because I'm too used to 60 FPS now or whatever I'm playing at. Because I've 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 been playing Arkham City on Ultra on this PC now, which I own, and Ah it's so good when the controls aren't dicking me over in the game. I mean Arkham Asylum was so, was actually fantastic on my PC, but yeah. Oh wow, by, by the way, a fucking rain, like seriously, like, a fucking stroke rainstorm's happening outside my house and it's really interesting. Jesus Christ, it's absolutely fucking thrashing it down. Oh shit, I didn't put any washing out, did I? Uh, I need to go check if I put the laundry out. I know I should be concerned about fighting basically for the last battle of a campaign, which is basically my win or lose battle. Ah fuck, I need to check outside the window, BRB. Okay, so while I didn't put any laundry out, it's actually fucking hail stirring out. Oh my god, I wish I had face cam or something. Cause I could just pick it up and just show you the window, but right now I'm not really dressed appropriately for face cam. As in, I'm just wearing the most casual clothes of casual dump possible because it's my day off work and I can wear whatever the fuck I like. I don't have to wear my uniform. I have a nice uniform, it's just I don't like wearing it. Anyway, my troops have, have begun positioning themselves more forward. Let's start getting ourselves into a bit of a smarter formation now. Let's need to let you know. Let's get ourselves spruced up because the enemy is starting to venture forward. They're, they're getting curious. They're bringing their skirmishes forward because obviously the skirmishers want to play. Slingers, why don't you get forward and play with them? I've got my cavalry in position. The town, the town militia are the only units which are not yet in position. We can live without town militia. I don't want to, but. Yeah, and skirmishers, that's not a smart idea, by the way. I know some of you got your stones over, but your shots don't arc. They go into the back of the heads of my men. Get forward, get slinging. If the enemy decides to go for a disastrous charge forward, it's on them. But no skirmishing as well. Right. The enemy doesn't want... Right, the enemy... The enemy doesn't want my challenge, or at least we do want my... Look, right, skirmishers pull forward a little bit. Just want to get them all out here. Right, cease. Fire. Get those skirmishers down. They're lightly armoured. They are going to try and get a few volleys out on us. But you know what, you guys... You guys you get, I mean, alright, quite a few of my Balearics died there. But you know what, we, we, we can we can take them. We can take them. Guys, we can take them, right? Come on. You are firing, aren't you? Come on, come on, come on. 
There we go. Right, we're getting some rocks out. Getting a few of them down. That's good enough for me. Right. Town militia. Get on the flanks. Like, or at least get on the flanks in a slightly smarter formation. There we go. Right, another town militia. They're all coming around on these flanks. Luckily, my Iberian infantry are very interested by the other enemies. So we are, we are doing all right in that department. I want you guys positioning yourselves here just in case the enemy cavalry gets any ideas. Start pulling my cavalry around the flanks now. So I'm going to basically split up the split up the formation as well because I want I want cavalry on both sides. Valley Eric Slingers, I'm not seeing a lot out of you today, and that's disappointing me because I know you're basically one of my best units, and yeah, you're just you're just not doing it for me today. Well, then again, oh, you guys fleeing? Oh, for fuck's sake! I didn't even get to kill any of it. Right. Cavalry, forward, they're getting out of here. I guess this means I have to continue this campaign now. Oh my god, what a fucking shit show, Spain. I'm angry even when the enemy routes, aren't I? But come on! You're making even Carthage look brave with that, with that fucking... Alright, well, look, the enemy's fled, we're safe for one more turn. Because this was a shorter episode than usual, even though I got distracted by the weather... Uh, let's Victory do another turn. Victory in your grasp, and there is nothing the enemy can do but run. Bye-bye. Right, we win. Um, it actually got more kills for me, so I don't know if our objective was just to kill some Balear Slingers, but right, a dead enemy spell is good, even though there aren't many dead enemies, but right, whatever. Look, the enemy's running off. I'm safe for another turn. It means Corduba probably won't one. be hemorrhaging all the money in the world now. Even though I have no one to trade with. <sighs> right, well, that was somewhat disappointing. We're going to go to the next turn now, folks, because, you know, what, I want to play one more turn. Just so I can properly analyse whether or not we are crunching and finishing this campaign, or if next week we will be continuing this campaign. Let's see what happens on the next turn. Right, more rioting in Carthage, not a surprise. Uh, any movements from the Brutii? Yeah, they're still sieging us. Can't surrender the city just yet, but that is what I'm planning to do. Oh, there's five turns till the town surrenders anyway. End of turn report, right, got some money. Right, new family member. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. War declared by the way, Pontus is at war with the Egyptians. Right, whatever. I don't care about everyone else now, I only care about myself. Right, you keep sailing, hopefully we don't run into anyone else. Looks like the Romans haven't decided to pursue me to Iberia yet either, but the Romans do know I am here. Um, recruitment and retraining, by the way. Well, we need to do some more retraining here. That, that's all the retraining done. Repairing. Need to repair that practice range. Have insufficient funds right now, so yeah. Once more, this is another turn where I can't really do a lot. Captain Texaruvo, he's still in the area. Daniel Herdus, I want you to go and travel towards Lusitania. I want to see how strong they are at Lusitania as well. We need to think about taking Lusitania at the same time as well as Carthago Nova. Because I suspect that in Lusitania, this is probably where the Spanish are sourcing a lot of their strength. So striking it down is probably going to do me a lot of good. Lucon is way over there, by the way. He's just run off. Not even worth my time, really. I don't have any assassins in this area, do I, by the way? No, I don't, right? You know what? I should probably kill off one of these spies as well. He's not worth... He's not worth my time, but I can't really kill him. I don't know how to kill off spies apart from assassinating them, but yeah. All we're doing right now is costing me money, money which I really should be trying to save. Yes, mighty lord. But I can't do a thing about that. They're on the campaign map for life. Oh well, next turn please. I don't care what Rome's doing. I don't care what Numidia's doing. I only care about what's happening in this area of the map now. Next turn. Right, civil revolt. Carthage has straight up revolted now. Don't care. And we have a suitable husband. Elisa has been betrothed by... Philosia Abusus, he only has one management point, but you know what, I'm short on family members so he can join me. Right, so that's my homeland completely lost now, which is tragic, but oh well. Uh, Philosia Abusus, by the way, he's stranded, right. Well, there's no way he's getting to Oscar without being killed, so um... One town militia is getting disbanded, so Philosia here can join the army. By the way, I'm still completely out of money, well done me. Uh, recruitment report, here's some retraining. War declared, New Ma Numidia is at war of Egypt. Marriage celebrations, yay, new guy in the family. And he isn't even governing because Theopanis has more governing points than him. Right. 
What else can I do in this area then? Right, how close are you to Oscar? You are close, right. Now, the thing is, while I may have militarily won in, in Os... Well, not in Oscar. Militarily won in Cordoba. I can't continue this campaign if I have no money, can I? And if I can't get any more money, let's face it, I'm in the financial hole from which I will never recover. And this could be pretty much how I'm going to declare this campaign a defeat. So we are going to continue watching and seeing how what happens. But I have no way of getting my diplomats off, Jan. If, if Rome would actually, like, fucking listen to me, by the way, and, like, you know, not be dickheads, I would probably be, uh, be able to get peace and trade with them. But She's they won't, because Rome's dickheads, right? Let's go to the next turn anyway. I have no money. I have nothing to do. So next turn, please. I can't surrender this battle. I don't. I don't want to fight it. I don't like auto resolving though. Um, yeah. I don't auto resolve. But, right, we're gonna fight this battle quickly, my friends. Except, I think just because this battle is so pointless, I think what I might do with this battle is um, I might actually just cut it out of the video because this is a pointless battle. We already know the outcome, and to be honest, it's not really worth me Men, popping a blood vessel. This battle is inevitable. Because I mean, seriously, it really is not worth me popping a blood vessel on this. Because let's face it, I have zero chance, and yeah. So I'll see you after this battle's been lost, and I'm going to see you on the next turn. And I'm going to put it like this: if my money is still absolutely fucked, I'm ending the campaign and I'm starting over. That's it. That's the ultimate, because let's face it, it it was not military that defeated me. It was my purse that defeated me because. I spent my money irresponsibly and I just basically attritioned myself to death. Go me, except fuck off because it's these fucking Iberian infantry. Because one of you one of you lot are at full strength. You guys cost me loads! You do you are not a cost effective troop. Simple as that. Anyway, see you in a few minutes, folks. I'm gonna fight this battle very quickly and I'm just gonna lose it. Defeat is a bitter taste, made all the worst when it is clearly a defeat. Okay, so I'll cut to the chase. It was a total defeat at, C at Cecilia Poeni. Um, my men just absolutely, well, look, my men just fucked up, basically, so. All of Sicily is now under Bruti Eye control, and the town got exterminated for its troubles. Uh, end of turn report, uh, money is still shit. Simple as that. Now, if I don't, sp uh, right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly drop off the Lubis into Oscar. Now, here's the plan. If, if, if. My money can possibly be back in the black. I will continue the campaign. If not, I will say goodbye, folks. I will see you next week, where we will be restarting this campaign. I'll give it one more attempt. And if it continues to be shit, and you know what, disband those Balearics, because they're just going to be costing me money. And a Gaelic spy was found. Great. Gaul's watching me. Great. Um, but yeah, an alliance announced. Oh, great. Well, now I don't, now even if I don't have money, I, what's the point? Spain's lagged with Gaul. Gaul's going to go to war with me. I'm screwed. I'm going to have two factions biting at me now on this peninsula. <sighs> but yeah, right. What's the money like? That's what's the money like. If I need to make 1,000... I need to make over 1,000 denarii of saving... And uh, do you think that's going to happen? Well, I'll show you how it's going to happen, my friends. Gone and gone. Right. That's 400. Done. However, if I lose anything else at Oscar, it's going to get shit stomped, isn't it? If at Cordoba I lose anything, 
Well, actually, we won't get shit stomped. But you know what's going to happen. I'll move somewhere. Captain Texaru, or Texas, is going to be there. He's going to be waiting for me. <laughs> stomped. I won't make it to Carthago Nova. I can't move troops from Moscow to Carthago Nova. I am shit stomped. That's it. I am now in a complete and total unattainable situation. I am not defeated. I am stagnant. And from stagnation will come defeat. Numidia will invade. Rome will catch up to me. Spain and Gaul have allied against me. Unfortunately, that's it. It's an unattainable situation. And yeah. I know people will say that it's a shame to give up, especially after my troops recently became competent. Or at least they one-off became competent, let's face it, but yeah. I think we really need to rethink how to do the Carthage campaign. And I already have plans of how to do it better. What we will do next time is we're going to say fuck Sicily, fuck Rome. We'll keep Rome sweet. We'll attack Numidia. We'll, we'll get Lepsis Magna. Start taking over for Sahara. Start working on the Iberians. And we'll wait for as long as possible until we need to attack Rome. Or at least keep Rome away for as long as possible. But, yeah. I could just end the turn as many times as I want now. And things won't get better. There's no money left. Simple as that. Even with my guy... Oh, oh wait, I can put the taxes up, can't I? Right. Have you made things any better? Though I doubt it. Well, my projected profits are actually now close to positive, but do you think I'm also going to disband anything at Parma, by the way? Of course I'm fucking not. And also, I can't even get away with high taxes in Oscar. But this settlement's going to riot next turn if I do that. Yeah. That's it. It's game over, man. It is just straight up game over. I mean, I can't afford to disband anything at Cordoba. I need troops to go on the offensive against Spain, but... How's that going to benefit me in the end of the day? I just can't see a way out. I mean, I could send... I could send Theopanes. I could send his Iberians. I could send them all the way to Scalabis if I wanted. But do you think I'm going to win? I'm not going to win. I mean, I sent all of these guys. And... Yeah, I just sent all of these guys. All the way to Lucom. I could go to the next turn. And I can guarantee you I will get stomped on for... W will it happen? Well, obviously, Captain Udia is here. There's a re there's a rebel there, but I don't care about him. And I just watch what happens if I go to the next turn. I told you, I get attacked. Simple as that. Lucon will walk over. He'll attack me. Strength is just one to two now because he now has absolutely loads of mercenaries. Spain's just fucking pissing in the money, aren't they? They're just, they're, just pissing, they're just pissed up on money. And if I lose this battle, I'll, I, he's just going to come to Cordoba and stomp it. Because guess what? Someone walked into Cordoba and he sieged it. Because, yeah, I told you, I can't leave a settlement without one being sieged. Simple as that. The Spanish are absolutely everywhere. So, um, yeah. Thank you and good night. I, I'm just, that's it. We are defeated, simple as that. I can't hold on to these territories anymore. I've been blockaded at Parma by the Julii. I assume that um, that fleet's probably carrying an army as well. It's just it's just not happening. It's just not happening, simple as that. I mean, he might run away, but do you think he's going to run away? He isn't going to run away. I'm on a defensive footing here. And what do I have defending me? Iberian infantry. What's the strength of the way? Wanted to in his favour. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm just done. Simple as that. We'll make this battle the last stand, though. You know what? Last stand battle. Let's do it. There are many roads to victory. Today our road lies through the enemy's ranks. Show no mercy as you cut them down! Right, my men. This is the last stand of Carthage. Lose this battle, lose the campaign. This is now the ultimate ultimatum. So what I'm doing is I'm making a square formation, except I haven't done it properly, so right. Two units per side of the square. So two units on this side of the square, 
There's no good hills for me to use for defense, by the way, except that that's actually probably the best. That's the best hill we have there for a defensive formation. So, right. We'll go two. Then we'll go two here. Now, I probably really shouldn't be using a tight square because they have Skutari as well in their army who will have javelins and shit. So, adopt a loose formation. We have to make a loose square formation now. So, right, you two get into loose formation. Make a loose square here. So I need to position it properly. Three, there we go. Now, two of you guys here, and now two of you guys here, just like that. And then the last two of you guys, loose formation, right? That's a loose square formation done. It actually looks kind of nice. Balearic Slugus will go outside of the square on the front, my general will go in the center to be defended. And I have two units of cavalry here in, in wedge formation to try and do some jabby jabby flanky flanky stuff here. Right. You actually think, actually looking at that, I'm actually somewhat proud of that. I think I actually have a good formation which could help defend me and maybe like not ruin the entire match for me or at least this entire battle. But yeah, let's face it. Every last troop here is going to run off. They're going to cack their pants and they're going to let me down. Because that's a lot of Spanish over there. A lot of Spanish. Like, there's loads of Spanish. We've literally been... We literally killed ourselves with Rome. And I've just been left to be eaten and picked apart by the barbarians. I did wrong. I just... Yeah. But why am I being such a negative Nancy? I should stop being a negative Nancy. Let's just watch Carthage get his teeth kicked out by these idiots. Because... That's all we have left to live for now. It's like my own version of Helm's Deep, except this time Gandalf won't be appearing over the hill to save me. I'm just going to get squished. Squished and squashed. Because they have a lot of troops. A lot of mercenaries as well. At least their troops are running there. That's going to wear them out a little bit. That might give me something of an advantage, but they're not really running too much. But you know what, at least they're, gonna, they're probably going to be uh, maybe warmed up or even winded. If they, if they get down to winded, actually, that might hand me a little advantage. By the way, I bet these barbarian mercenaries here, you know, which are basically the equivalent of warband. Do you want to, should we take bets on how, how likely it is they could beat an Iberian infantry in one-on-one -on -one combat? Fuck, I might even go do that in the side game now. I might actually get my friend to come online and we're just, I'm just gonna 1v1 a fucking Iberian infantry against some fucking barbarian warband. Because that's first it, Iberian infantry would lose because they're shit and they surrender at everything. They're terrible. I don't feel like I need to say anything more. You guys don't skirmish by the way because I know you, you always run away when we could get at least one more shot out. That's what you guys are like. You don't, you don't you don't give them the time we need anyway first few rocks are starting to go out my guys are getting into position and we're gonna start slinging there we go rocks going now and bang 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 right pelting a few down right good you take it out to my being infantry they're weak they're they're prone to running so there we go let's see if we let's see if we can get them down to the point where we're gonna row or at least to the point where we're gonna actually fucking charge at us so it's alright target their mercenaries instead just tag just tag whatever you want but right one more shot Right, run. You need to get back in you need to get back behind the formations now because you need to get ready to be charged out. You can't fire at will anymore because I don't well, it's not that I don't trust you, it's just that I can't risk you doing any friendly fire. Right, enemy cavalry is trying to poke around my flanks, so right, start moving my cavalry around the flanks. Start moving my other cavalry around the flanks. Enemy brings their yeah, they just threw they just threw their general at me. Their general's probably gonna win actually, but right. They're just gonna try and encompass my square formation. You guy, oh, actually, my guy, my guys are actually doing okay, right? They're holding steady, right? Round shield cavalry, start pulling around. You guys, I need you inside. I need you inside those Iberian infantry. Except there's more fucking round shield cavalry trying to come in, and yeah, they're gonna they're gonna catch my flank. Valio, so let's try and see if we can get some support in. Start, we're actually holding out okay. My guy, my guys are starting to lose morale, though, which isn't good, but unfortunately, uh, no, Scott, yeah. Those guys aren't going to do well here. Those guys have been surrounded and they've been killed. There are too many Spanish for me to contend with. Right, I want you guys to try start pulling into the enemy. Start pulling around. Get into them. There we go. We can engage those guys at will because it, I've ruled it to be safe. You got Oh, wow. Maybe maybe because I told these guys it was the last stand. They're actually going to like perform well or something. I mean, these guys are really shaking, but... Why do we do better on the, on the defensive than we do on the offensive? I don't get this. 
What is it with you guys? Why can't you... Oh, wait, there we go. We're set to route. All right. Well, I knew we'd route anyway, but right. General, you're about to get exposed. Basically, the core of my arm is getting exposed. Balearics, what did you just throw your stones at? Probably something I told you not to throw your stones at. But just try and target something that's really far away and not, not where, anywhere near my men. Right, you guys need to start peeling around and I need you to go and defend my flank. Enemy general's fucked off, right? Ah, ha, ha! Lucon died, right! Maybe the ball's in my court now. General, stop mowing down a few of those skirmishers. Why don't you? There we go. Mow them all down. Right. We might have a little bit of a chance. Not a big chance, but a little chance. All right, come on. Start weakening the Spanish. I know we're against absolutely insurmountable odds here, but it looks like we have a little chance of winning. If we do, why don't we take it? Except I have very little left. I have no cavalry left in this upper army. So I need you guys to pull back and get into the Spanish mercenaries who have been ironically hired by Spain, but let's discuss that for another day. They are just basically Scutari wearing green. Simple as that, really. But who am I to question? And, oh! That was a good charge. That was a very good charge, actually. That is really, that is just made the enemy go to a mass route, right? This is annoying. I'm feeling good about myself for basically wiping out this army, but let's face it. Is the situation still unattainable in the campaign? It probably still is, really. It actually is. Like, it is just straight up. It is just straight up FUBA. I mean, I have very little chance of still winning, right? You need to get to those skirmishes, by the way. Iberians, let's start getting ourselves organised. We need to get ourselves organised. Form a new battle line here and get ready to deal, deal with that Iberian infantry over there. Uh, you guys need to line up as well. Bally Eric, you know what? You're done for the day. So don't bother with anything you don't need to do. You're getting pelted by missiles. Oh, it's all right. It's just with skirmishes. You've got them on the run, so we don't need to worry about them. The cavalry is probably... They're, they're going to give chase. No, they're routing. They're cowards. Just like my cavalry, actually. But hey, whatever. All right, you've done enough work cleaning up those skirmishes. Pull back. Deal with whatever's left of Spain now. We've got this battle won. Simple as that, really. It's annoying. I win the last stand, but let's face it. I won the battle, but I, I've lost the war. That is all I can really say. That is well, that is all you really can say about this campaign. Lose the total war, win the total battle. Right. You guys need to get ready to deal with those barbarian mercenaries who are basically trying to charge on your flank. So, I hope you're ready to deal with them. You get in the back of the enemy Balearic Slingers. There are a lot of Balearic Slingers in the world, aren't there? Probably has got a population of the entire island out on the, on, the, on the battlefield now. But hey, they've all just got run down in glorious high frame rate. So um, yeah, that's them dealt with. That's more enemies running away from me as well. Everyone just runs away. And I just, honestly, apathetic is how I feel, basically. Apathetic, that is it. I just have complete apathy for this battle, though. I mean, you can probably just tell in my commentary. What's the point of winning this battle when I've still lost the war? I mean, what does this victory add up to? It's just more men I've lost. Men I can't replace, because I can't afford to replace them. I mean, oh, yay, I, 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 I defeated this enemy, but... Do you think that's enough troops there to go and take on Scalabis? Because I'll tell you now, it's not. Remember that last time we seized the Spanish and we got absolutely stomped on by a general's bodyguard? It just isn't going to work. I just don't understand. Enemies, these men are perfect. They are running from the battle in terror. I just don't get how my men always seem to excel when we're on the when we're on a defensive formation. But as soon as we have to go on the offensive, my men just collapse. Their their morale just absolutely dies. It just it just honestly it just honestly puzzles and just confounds me. It's such a weird conundrum we have to deal with. And it's just... It's, it just honestly is such a, it's such a strange phenomenon we have to deal with. Very strange one, but yeah. I'm going to mull this one over, actually. I'm going to mull this one over for the rest of the week, so it's going to be a bit of a mystery now whether or not you're going to see the rest of this campaign, or if we're going to just start the Carthaginian campaign over, over the next week. But, um, yeah. All I can really say is, thank you all for watching so far. For 29 episodes in, and all you basically got to see was a campaign die, but 
I guess really, it's still a learning curve for, for everyone. I mean, I still have a Total War learning curve to get through. I mean, like I've said, I'm a fan of Total War games. However, I'm not particularly good at them. I haven't really been playing them for very long. I do watch it a lot, but there's a difference between watching and doing with video games. I may have watched playthroughs of other video games. I think, all right, now I know how to beat that boss and shit, but I'll be honest, I watched a full Let's Play of Sonic Generations. And I thought, oh yeah, I could do this. Guess how many fucking times I died on Planet Wisp? Too many is the answer. Too many times I died on Planet fucking Wisp. And the Egg Dragoon. Because I just get fucking stomped on by stupid fucking drill attack. <sighs> but that's the last of a day. You can watch, but whether or not you can do is something different. And there's no try, by the way. You do while you're done. Here I did not. I mean, I guess I kind of tried, but um, if I say that, you're just gonna like be annoyed at me. And I don't like pissing off that little green guy because he's a cool guy. By the way, the new Star Wars film is probably gonna be good. I hope. I mean, it looks like they're breaking new ground with it. I mean, it's not just gonna be a rehash of a New Hope, and that'd be cool. Kill them! I wonder how it's gonna go. I don't know. Anyway, I'm leaving you with images of the AI bollocking up. So um, yeah. There's the AI going wrong. I will see you all on the next episode. Have a nice night, folks. Have a nice night.